All right, so what do I have in store for you today? Condo docs. How to review them. Like what techniques can you use to get through what can sometimes be 200 pages of information so that you can figure out, okay, can I move into this place and live there? Stay tuned. So welcome to my channel. Um, I am Ashley with Keller Williams up in Everett, Washington. Um, if this is your first time to my channel, like the video, um, subscribe to my channel. I have a ton of stuff on real estate and real estate related information. Um, right now I am doing a series on condos. You know, condos are hot in the Seattle and Everett area and just sort of like all over the sort of like surrounding metro area, even out to Bremerton and all that stuff, okay? So they're very hot. There's a lot of people getting into them. And so I was like, man, I should do a series on condos so that people can pick up some information and know what's going on. Okay, so in this video, I wanna talk about a book that I have reviewed before, and I just love this book so much. I think, I go to this book and I kinda of consult it and I look at it and I'm like, okay, what, what do people wanna know? And I just go, I continuously go to this book. I have several books on condos and I really like this one. Okay, but before I get started, I want to remind you that I'm working with a buyer that is looking for a brick house in the Everett area. So if you know somebody, or if you are someone who is thinking about selling their brick house in the Everett area, and it was built in, 19, in the 1930s or 1940s, give me a call and we can see what we can work out. Okay, so on to the video. All right, so the book that I'm talking about is called The Condo Book, okay? This book right here, okay? Phenomenal book, all right? So the chapter that I really like um, in this book is towards the end, and it is called Analyzing Information, chapter 29 is what we're talking about. Chapter 29, Analyzing Information. Okay, what is great about this book is it goes through several pieces of the condo information. And what it does is it gives you sort of like a, a spreadsheet or a guide that you can follow while you're evaluating the condo docs that your agent sends you, okay? Because you are going to get them and they are lengthy and long and it's sort of like, you get them and you're like, well, where do I start? Um, I think what people frequently do is they sort of look at it and they say, okay, I just want to make sure I can bring my dog. <laughs> okay. And they check it. They, they make sure they bring their dog. They might like quickly glance at the budget. Um, they might quickly look at, um, the, uh, condo reserve study if there is one available and say, okay, I can live with this or not, or does it have an assessment? Um, you know, can I deal with that? Um, now that is going to be information for another video. Um, so I will talk about that. I'll talk about special assessments. I'll talk more specifically about the budget, but I did want to just hit on this chapter. I mean, it is fantastic. Okay. It is fantastic. It goes through like every single document so you can make sure that you have everything that you need. I mean, I'll just start naming them. It goes through the CCNRs and bylaws. It goes through the po property inspection report. Um, rules and regulations, the meeting minutes, um, the maintenance plan, reserve study, budget, and then to ask you these questions, it says, okay, you know, for example, budget reserve contributions agree with the amount recommended in the reserve study. Compare to reserve study, large legal fee budget, bad debt, you're going to be looking for these things, large maintenance, all that stuff like that, okay? So you're going to be looking for that. And then what you do is, is you actually go, it has little columns here, and you make notes. You say like, okay, what are my concerns here? What additional questions do I want to ask the seller? Um, you know, I don't know, you know, any clarification here. So you would respond to your agent and you would say, hey, this is what I'm concerned about. Like, you know, is there anything that can be done with this? Then you can write the response here. It even has a spot for you to write the response from the seller so you can keep track of it. Documentation is key so that you know what's going on. And then what you do is you write, okay, you know, is this a huge issue for me or not? All right, when you get your answer and you get your clarification answer, and, and so it has a place there to note that. And then it has another spot where it says, okay, based on the information that I found out here, do I need to amend the offer that I sent over? Now, I will say in this market, you know, probably you, you may not make much headway in amendments, but you know, everything is negotiable. If you're working with a good agent, there's definitely ways to make sure that your concerns get addressed. And if an amendment is necessary, then, you know, put forward the amendment. Um, so it's, it's great. I love this chapter. Again, it is the condo book by David Swint. I mean, I think if you are thinking about buying a condo and you're, let's say you're in the beginning of your buying stages and you know for sure you want to be in a condo, I highly, highly recommend this book. Okay. Highly recommend it. I mean, it will tell you pretty much everything you need to know about condos. So that is my video. 
Um, please like the video, um, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Facebook, um, hit up the rest of my YouTube channel. I have a huge library that's building um, and leave your comments down below. If there's anything that you want to know about condos that I haven't covered yet and you want me to cover it, let me know. I'm going to be covering condos for like the next month. Um, hit my website, ashleybolden.com, and I will see you again soon, YouTube. Okay, so I did something today, and I want to add just like a little additional plug here at the end. Um, you know, I have a really good friend that runs Century Ballroom down in Seattle, and, um, you know, she's planning another blood drive. There was a blood drive today. I went down there with uh, Hillary, and uh, we went and we donated some blood, and basically... The blood drive was amazing. She had a really good turnout, and what we're looking to do is to really amp that up, okay? We're really looking to amp that up the next time she does it. So, um, for those of you who follow my channel, yeah, we need you. So if you could come on down, I'll, I'll make sure that I make an announcement about this. I'll have it on my Facebook page when the next one is. Um, we'd love to see you down there. We'd love to show some support. Um, I know your blood donation, I was told it can save you know up to three people. Um, and so it's something good to do. You can give back, um, pretty easy to do. Um, and that's it. See you again soon.